guys, so welcome back to my channel. I actually haven't filmed the video in so long because all the ones you saw recently have been pre-filmed, so this feels kind of weird right now to be sitting in front of the camera again. But I am really happy to be back. Today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon 2017 wrap-up, which was kind of a miserable failure for me this year. Um, when I put together my TBR and like film my TBR, I wasn't yet sure what my plans for this week were going to be, but then pretty soon I ended up making plans for basically every single day of this week, and that just derailed my reading plans completely. So all in all, I ended up reading three books, which on a normal week, like that's fine, but in a book a thon week, that is pretty damn bad. And uh, I'm kind of disappointed with myself a lot, not just kind of, but anyway, it's fine. It's like no one cares except for me probably, but I care. It, it just like, it just wasn't meant to be this year. So n hopefully next year uh, I will come back and do it like a little bit better. <laughs> but anyway, um, today I want to talk about those three books because that's what you do in a rack of... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because that's what you do in a wrap up, so let's get into it. The very first book I read for the book to a thon was A Truly Madly Guilty by Leon Moriarty. This is the second book I read of hers after Big Little Lies, and it kind of showed me that she has a very specific style of writing that apparently is very noticeable in her books. Um, this is very similar in that sense to Big Little Lies, even though the story is completely different. In this we follow three couples and uh, they meet for a barbecue one day and something happens and it's very similar to Big Little Lies in that we know that something happens and like on what specific day but we don't know what and how and why and it also kind of jumps back and forth between the present day which is like eight weeks after that and the day of the barbecue and we follow these people and uh, like just before the event after the event and eventually during the event that occurred and like how it affected them. I enjoyed this book quite a lot. I gave this four stars. Um, I didn't think it was as good as Big Little Lies because the people and the story were like more engaging and the plot twist or like whatever, the thing that happened was a little bit more interesting. I mean in Big Little Lies it's a murder obviously so that's like, you know, a whole nother level of thing but um, I had sort of guessed a little bit what had happened and this is kind of really just more like it's not a mystery or anything it's really just like an exploration of these people's thoughts and feelings in relation um, to the situation that happened and uh, kind of how they deal with it and, and things like that so overall I did really enjoy it I just didn't think it was like as good as Big Little Lies but let's be honest that is kind of difficult so no shame in that by the way, this one counted for my hyped book challenge. I forgot to mention that. The next one helped me tick off two challenges from the list, and that is Alive by Scott Sigler. The first one is obviously the face on the cover, which I um, picked this for in the first place because it has a face on here. And the second one is to read it in a day. And somehow, because it was a really rainy day, I actually read this in a day while I was away. Oh, that rhymes. Nice. This is a YA novel and it was really, really surprising to me how much I enjoyed it. I also gave this one four stars. Uh, I have like heard really, really mixed reviews of this, so I was like kind of apprehensive going into it, but at the end of the day, I thought it was great. Like, I don't know why people don't like it. I really don't. This book is kind of, I would say, sci-fi, dystopian-ish, and it follows this girl and she wakes up one day in a coffin. She has no memory of uh, anything really. All she knows is that it is her 12th birthday today and uh, she just wakes up and is in a coffin and then she breaks out of this coffin and then she notices she's in a room with like, I don't know, 12 coffins or 16? I think 12 coffins and uh, things happen. <laughs> it's honestly like really best to go into this not knowing a lot um, and kind of just being surprised by where this book takes you and just like going with the flow in that sense because I thought that there were a lot of like really interesting twists and turns that I really don't want to spoil for you and like revelations that you know are really really important for the overall enjoyment so I won't say any more than that even though that's really the a really bad summary as always but at the end of the day I really really enjoyed this book I thought it was well written I really enjoyed the writing style it's not dumbed down for teenagers at all it's like 
a good solid book and uh, I like the story, I like the characters for the most part and um, yeah, actually this book is the first one in a trilogy but I honestly feel like this is fine by me, like I don't need more than this. I'm just gonna be happy with with one book. I feel like the ending was satisfying enough and I don't really feel the need to uh, continue with it for some reason, even though I enjoyed it. I think I'm just kind of fine with considering this as a standalone, I guess. And the final book I read is Wasted, Coming Back from an Addiction to Starvation by Maria Hornbacher. This is a non-fiction memoir of uh, Maria Hornbacher who has suffered with um, anorexia and bulimia ever since she was nine years old and it kind of follows her. She wrote this book when she was 20 in the 90s I think and uh, it's crazy crazy first of all like the shitty shitty life that she has led because of her mental health issues and um, the also the way that she can write um, she's a journalist she's a writer like you can tell when reading this book that she's really really good at writing so I really enjoyed this book as well I also ended up giving this four stars it's just like a four star extravaganza today but uh, I really enjoyed this I mean it's obviously heartbreaking and tragic and really really sad to read but it's also eye-opening and even though I have kind of done a lot of research into eating disorders already there were some things in this book that she said um, that I hadn't heard before and that I didn't know before and she quotes a lot of psychologists and um, sort of scientific sources in this one as well, obviously keep in mind that this is from the 90s and, and her experience definitely reflects that in the sense that a lot of the people, the doctors that she met with didn't recognize the very very glaring signs that she was really really sick and they didn't have a good treatment plan for her at all, they didn't know how to deal with it because it wasn't such a prominent thing yet and uh, obviously as far as I know treatment today is a lot better and people are a lot um, better trained at actually recognizing the signs, at least I hope so um, and that, so that no one has to experience what she has to, have to experience. For example doctors telling her that like when he had in her chart that she was anorexic that she didn't look like an anorexic like for a doctor to tell that to someone like oh you don't look like you're because she wasn't like just skin and bones yet they would say she doesn't look anorexic like that is obviously so damaging to someone who's already obsessed with being thin so <sighs> anyway <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of losing track of what I was gonna say that is it for my book tubathon wrap up I know I, I'm, I'm like almost internally I am crying for all the books that I didn't read and they're all still on my shelves behind me I'm so sad I really am. But let's be honest, life is long, <laughs> hopefully, and I I'm gonna have enough time to read most of them. But yeah, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments down below how your book to with on went. I hope it went better than mine. I mean, it almost by default has to <laughs> have gone better than mine. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon with another one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye! Hi.